back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Markia, and I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, then give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. So, today's video is a story time video. As you can see by the title, I don't know exactly what I'm going to title it, but basically right now I think I'm going to title it, um, can't get my hair done because I am black. So, I just wanted to make this like a quick story time video. This happened to me about two, three weeks ago. So, as you can see, I am natural. My hair is all natural. Um, sometimes I wear it straight, sometimes I wear it natural. If you watch my videos, then you can see that also. But for the last few years, I've been looking for the beaded extensions because I just want my hair to grow faster and then I just want to wear it different. Like, I don't have to go through too much to change up my hairstyle. So I've been looking everywhere for a salon that can do beaded extensions for my hair. And I wasn't trying to go outside of my city of where I live because I live 45 minutes away from Nashville and I'm sure I could find a salon there that does it with no problem but I was trying to stay here where I live at. So after a year or two of looking, I finally found a salon in my city that does beaded extensions. So I set up an appointment, a constellation, and to, you know, just see how much it costs and how long it would take and just so they can incite me on about beaded extensions. So, so I got super excited. I told all my friends and family and I'm like, oh my God, I finally found the hair salon that does it. Can't wait to get my hair done. You know I'm excited, blah, blah, blah. So I get to the hair salon and let me remind you, my appointment was like at 6.30 or 7 o'clock or something like that. So I get there and it's a nice hair salon, beautiful, beautiful hair salon. The receptionist was super nice and she greeted me and offered me drinks and showed me around the hair salon, but I can say I felt out of place being there and when she was showing me around at the hair salon, I was getting dirty looks from people. Like, what is she doing at this hair salon? You know, because people always got the black people hair salon over there and the white people hair salon over here. And I went to a white people hair salon, Caucasian people hair salon, whatever you want to call it. I don't like to label things, but yes, that's where I went. Oh yeah. I get there, receptionist, show me around. Like I said, I was getting 30 looks from clients and um, the the hair salon, the people that was doing hair. And um, yeah, I just I just felt really uncomfortable. So the receptionist brought me back up front and she was like, I'm sorry, but the person that's supposed to be doing your appointment is running behind with her other client. Just sit here and it'll be no time, you know. She's trying her hardest to finish or whatever. She offered me drinks and stuff like that. I was like, no, I'm good, I'm good. And while I'm there, like I'm just sitting there, I'm just texting my friend. I'm like, I really do feel uncomfortable here. I kind of want to go home, like I don't know. You know, I just had like a really, really bad feeling. But he was like, just stay there because you've been looking for a salon that does beaded extensions. Just stay there, see what they gotta say. So about 35 minutes of waiting, she finally came over and she was like, hi, my name is blah, 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 and I hear you wanted to get beaded extensions done. And I'm like, yes, I do. Um, that's what I want to do or whatever. And I don't know, when she came to introduce herself, it's like she really didn't want to do it, but she had to do it. It was like, I don't know. It just, I, the whole time I just felt weird being there. So she took me to her little station and when I sat there, it was still more clients there and I looked in the mirror and I seen like all these other clients still giving me dirty looks. So I sat there and I was just on my phone until she came back and then she came back with this big old box with hair extensions and the beads and stuff like that and then she asked me, she said, so why do you want beaded hair extensions? And I was like, well, because... I said, well, because I don't like the black girl extensions where you have to 
braid the hair, braid your hair and leave, and then sew in the hair on, and then sew the hair on top. I was like, I don't like that because I don't like braids. Um, braids break my hair out. I just don't want to do that. And then I'm going to be wanting to take it out the next day. And then she was just like, oh, okay. And the whole time she just gave me 30 looks. Oh, oh, okay. And so she pulled out all the extensions. And she was like, well, unfortunately, the company that we get our hair from, which is Halo Contour, I think that's the name of it, um, they don't make hair for your type of hair. And, you know, we've been sending complaints up and blah, blah, blah. And they claim it's a region thing, the reason why they don't get my type of hair. They had black hair there that could have been, you know, beaded, put in my hair, but it was like bone straight. When I went there to the hair salon, I had my hair natural. But I did tell her I straightened my hair all the time. But she's like, yeah, this one will not look right in your hair at all. It's not for your type of hair. It was just like the way she was talking to me. And, um, I don't know, the meeting was like really fast. It was like not even 10 minutes. But the way she was talking to me was basically like, you shouldn't want these type of hair extensions. But yeah, the whole time she, it was just the, her demeanor, like the way she was talking to me. It was kind of like, only beaded extensions is for white people or whatever. And I hate, I hate, hate, hate using labels like this. Like that is only for white people and that's only for black people. But that's, that's the only way I can explain to you what happened. But that's what she was basically saying to me. And But she kept blaming it on the company. She was like, that this company don't send your type of hair to Tennessee. Like, you can't find that hair in Tennessee because it's based on regions. Like, the way she was explaining it is that black females don't like those type of hair extensions here in Tennessee. And the only way I will be able to get those type of hair extensions if I go up to like California or something like that, which is ridiculous to me. Like, it, it just didn't make sense. So at the end of the conversation, she was just like, like the whole time she was just giving me like this stink look. And at the end of the conversation, she was just like, well, maybe you should just stick to what your people do um, with the braids. And I just looked at her. Because I could have sworn, I told you earlier, I don't like braids in my hair. So why would you tell me to go do that? So, the whole time she talking to me, I don't know, it just, that stank look. You know how when people give you a look, like they, like they have to talk to you, but they don't like you, so they not. They just gonna give you that look, that type of look, or whatever. But that's how it was the whole time she was talking to me. And I, I'm trying to be nice. I'm smiling, blah, 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 blah. But she was like, yeah, I do apologize, but it's not our fault. It's the company's fault. The reason why we don't have your type of hair. Like, you might as well just say black people hair. Like, at that point, the way she just kept saying it. But I, I just felt really, 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 really uncomfortable and disrespected when I went there um not by the receptionist she was super nice but by everybody else that was there it was just like what is she doing here why is she here type of thing or whatever but I don't know when I left the hair salon I'm not gonna lie I cried because I just felt like I don't know I just felt it just felt like really, really wrong to me. And I I don't know, I just seemed like, I, it's hard to explain. That would be in a different video because I, I do want to talk about putting labels, putting labels on people and stuff like that because I get labeled all the time. And so, yeah, that that would just be in another video. Um, but. I don't know I just wanted to tell you guys that story because <laughs> it just felt like a good story to tell and I don't know if you guys have ever experienced something like that 
then please, please, please leave it in the comments below and let me know the type of experience you had and how you handled it. Because I felt like I could have said more, but not in, in a disrespectful way, but I could have said more. But instead, I left and I cried. Because I'm not a confrontation type of person. I, I, I will let people say what they have to say and just ignore it. Um, but... I don't know it it was it was a really bad experience but anyways you guys I didn't want this story time to be too long so thank you guys for watching and don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this video and please don't forget to comment if anything happened like that to you I don't care what race you are just let me know in the comments below and also I do have an Instagram a snapchat and a Twitter so please follow me on there and the links will be in the description box also and thank you guys for watching my video so 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 much and I hope to see you guys in my next video bye